church and those who visit us with the peace of the Lord Jesus invite those that can to stand up so we may proceed to the reading of the word of the word of the Lord we're going to read in Isaiah Isaiah Chapter 53. <coughs> the Bible says the following. Who has believed our report? And to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? For he shall grow up before his him as a tender plant and as a root out of dry ground he has no form or commonliness and when we see him there is no beauty that we sh should desire him he is despised and rejected by men a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief and we heed as it were our face from him he was despised and we did not esteem him we may kneel down uh, may sit down may the lord speak to us through his word my beloved brethren brethren the prophet isaiah he had an experience which was wonderful for the part of the Lord. Isaiah, he was a man that lived, as a few historians said, he worked uh, close to the king, King Uzziah. And it's interesting that the word, the word is registered, a fact. And it says the following. On the year in which the king Uzziah died, I saw the Lord. So he had this experience, this wonderful experience. Throughout his whole life, he had not had an experience with the Lord he for sure had heard that God had um, taken the Jewish people from Egypt and historically he was well informed regarding God and the action God's actions and the miracles the wonders that God had done but he had not seen the Lord yet In the same way that Job also describes before I knew you from hearing about but now my eyes can see you my brother one thing is to hear and the other is to have uh, an experience with the Lord right that's why the word of this night says who gave a creed to our preaching this question was asked in eternity who has believed our report the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. They asked this question from eternity because they knew that surely when Jesus proposed himself to come down to earth, they would know 
that many would not believe the message of the Lord. They would think that it was a beautiful message, would bring emotion out of their hearts. And even many from the gospel, the gospel described, many people said that I have never seen a man speaking like this one because Jesus impressed people through his words, through his preaching. So this question was asked from eternity. Who has believed our report? And today we live in a world There is very speedy. The things race very quickly. In the aspect of information, as well as in the aspect of locomotion, we're going to have a plane now that is going to go on a trip that is going to last just four hours from here to Brazil. This is a speed that is going to is being increased. And together with this speed is coming many winds. It's coming many things that are entering to men's heart at minds. And I'd like to remember when the Lord when he he looks to earth during the times of Noah and he sees the land completely corrupt humanity was completely corrupt and then God determines a judgment upon the earth and this judgment was going to be the deluge and God points out a man in the midst of this generation called <coughs> Noah. <coughs> okay, God saw him as being a just man. Noah, historically speaking, he preached during a period of 100 years while he was building the ark at the top of that mount Arafat. Arat. Every morning. Today we see this light, the lights that we have. So he would wake up in the morning, very early in the morning, so that his day would be completely um, productive. So you go to the mount and you would build the ark <coughs> not according to his mind would think but the whole project was already established and revealed by the Lord the Lord had revealed the whole project to him regarding the, the dimensions and the space that this ark was going to have inside and at that time how many believed uh, Noah's preaching only his family right only seven and with him eight which speaks of the grace of the Lord because the grace of the Lord reached that family blessed be the name of the Lord and few few said you know he's saying something that is not going to be fulfilled it's not going to happen who believed our report and to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed My brethren, 
the prophet when he writes and to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed we can understand one thing that in order for the arm when he speaks of the arm he speaks of something that is connected to the body. Nobody has seen an arm walking on its own. <laughs> the arm is connected to the body. And who is the body? Is the church of the Lord Jesus, whose head is Jesus Christ. My beloved, God is manifesting in the midst of a church that is faithful. The arm of the Lord is manifesting. And the message, and the message of the church is this. Soon. Jesus is coming very soon. Who has believed our report? And to whom has the and to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? But there is a people on the face of the earth. There is a church on the face of the earth that has believed the voice of the Lord. That has obeyed what the Lord has been revealing and showing for these last days. We are living, my, brad, my beloved brethren, we live in the last days. The project of salvation is being fulfilled. We have already mentioned here, but like to remind and remind you that once I was I was evangelizing a youth and he was saying the following look I'm going to wait a few a little longer to accept the Lord before I can accept the Lord because I've heard this being said for a very long time they say for a very long time that Jesus is coming Jesus is coming right and I believe I just don't accept it there is also one thing which is to accept uh, to believe and the other is not to accept And I was telling that young man, look, the salvation from the Lord is by grace, not by force or for violence, by violence. Nobody's going to force it into your head. But know one thing, that Jesus is coming soon because the number of saved the, this number is being reached and that young man left that conversation uh, thinking and on one of my many trips to Brazil I met that young man recently now he was married And, and I went to a bakery. I didn't, ev didn't even know this bakery when my father was alive. He told me, go to that bakery from the neighborhood. It's a very good bakery. So I'm going there also to know that place. So when I went to the cashier in order to pay, a young man that was no longer a young man, 
he told me, hey, I know who you are. And then I, I, I looked at him and then and I tried to remember. And I said, I don't remember who you are. And then he said, do you remember that young man that one day you spoke about the return of the Lord Jesus in order for me to accept Jesus for me to turn to the Lord and go to the church yeah that person is me and today I am in the church today I'm an usher in the church blessed be the name of the Lord so he listened to our message so the church has a mission that is very important in this last hour which is to say that Jesus is coming the mission of the primitive church was different was to say that Jesus died and resurrected it's not easy that the task was not easy but our task is different is to say that Jesus went to heaven to prepare a place for us and now he's, he's coming back to take his church to be with him blessed be the name of the Lord so who has believed our report and to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed so now that we are talking about uh, the manifestation of the Lord which is the revelation of the Spirit of the Lord in the midst of the church and these two spiritual gifts I'm going to read here the first spiritual gift the Lord has shown an angel that came down from heaven and now midst he came with a uh, first aid uh, bag inside of this box there were instruments surgical instruments and it was saying peace joy renewal and refreshing and especially he was taking care of a woman that apparently she seemed to be okay but she has a scar in her body and the scar is the result of a trauma whenever you see that scar you remember of something that happened in your life right some sort of trauma something that brought you pain something to brought a difficulty in your life but the Lord tonight he wants to re erase this scar leave uh, the bitterness behind indifference the pain whatever brought you a bad experience leave it all behind don't carry a scar unless it's other than the mark of the Lord Jesus in your life the Lord also has shown that there was a woman that he she has believed in things there are she believes he, uh, she's a superstitious person things that are not going to lead you anywhere because you know that our God is a living God that we don't need uh, anything else in order for us to to help us to come closer to him no the only thing that we need is faith is our faith this faith that connects us to the Lord blessed be the name of the Lord so tonight is give you a deliverance you don't need those things but what you need is to seek the Lord the Lord has also revealed a woman that entered here she is, is not being able to have the same fellowship with the Lord but she is seeking to reestablish this fellowship with the Lord and during the service she felt something different and she said I need to reestablish this fellowship my brethren 
has to come from us. God is always ready to bless us. The same way that the Lord Jesus said when He gave that explanation, "What is the Father? Uh, what is the Father that, when the Son asks for fish, was going to give a snake, or asking for a piece of bread, is going to give him a stone?" And Jesus completes saying. If your father, your earthly father, don't do those things to you, much more your heavenly father is going to bless you. The Lord is is here present, not to give you discomfort, not to offend you, not to make you feel ashamed, but the Lord is present to help you to help you in what is your need. So if you if you are if you feel like he, this one of those spiritual gifts is for you, receive from the part of the Lord what the Lord has for your life. May the Lord bless us. Now we're going to praise the name of the Lord. believed our report. At one point, the Lord Jesus he told a story of two men, of the rich and of Lazarus, the beggar. 
they both ended up dying. Lazarus went to the arms of Abraham and the other he went to the torment. Uh, Jesus said as he was telling this parable that that man when he saw Lazarus uh, with Abraham he pleaded to Lazarus in to wet his lips because his torment was great hey my brother there are two eternities and we need to define where we want to spend our eternity where do you want your soul to rest there are two ways there are two eternities either with God or without God we're not here delivering a message of judgment or a message that will make you feel worried about hey now the preacher said this and now I'm not going even going to sleep this really made me be concerned but this is a fact and Jesus afterwards Jesus goes even beyond Jesus says that that man that was in torment he asked the following let me go down to earth in order to warn my friends my family, family members how this place is let me go down there to earth to warn them and it was told to him God has already sent his prophets God has already sent his messengers if they are, have not believed in what what the, our message have said you think that they are going to believe if you come down like, like the Bible says like a ghost that's what and then they are not going to believe it so my brother who has believed our report my brother this is serious it's not my message I'm not speaking on my behalf nor usher, usher or a pastor or whoever comes here I'm not speaking in on their behalf but I'm speaking in the name of Jesus the only sufficient Savior of our lives who has believed our report there are people that even when Jesus was speaking sometimes you make mention of everything that Jesus said was well received that's wrong there is a there was a group there was always opposing to what Jesus said but my brethren the arm of the Lord is being revealed in the midst of the church because the church is the body of Christ that's why in eternity th that was said in the eternity may God bless us I'm gonna ask the church to stand up and we're going to finish the service now thinking about this message who has believed our report this is a moment for you to believe alone in what you not on what you want to hear no you need to believe 
Alma comes from the part of the Lord because it is for our own good. The, the Lord, the word from the Lord, sometimes comes to frustrate our own ego, but we should always believe in a message that comes from the Lord. Hallelujah! Glory to God. Lord, we praise you. You give you glories, because one day by faith we believed in your message. That's why, Lord, we are here tonight because we have been a target of your great love. Because we have been a target of your great mercy. And now we plead, Lord, that you use us so that we may be able to um, proclaim the mess this message to many that may have not accepted you yet and that we may receive grace be a blessing on to those that are around us bless our church lord give us strength so we until the coming of the, your son jesus christ and we pray to you in the name of jesus amen the church may be seated we want to inform the church that the service tomorrow morning at 10 to 30 what the Lord has a teaching for each one of our hearts and if and if the the message and the spiritual gifts spoke to your heart remain where you are and we are going to go towards you in order for to pray for you and the blessing of the Lord be completely fulfilled in your life may I wish you the peace of the Lord.